Is this thing working? Oh, oh does this work? Oh, um. Uh, we're running. Oh well. Um. Today is day zero of the intelligence research. The day before we actually start the research on the test subject. Test subject will arrive at 3 pm this afternoon. Currently, we are done with all the preparatory works. I forgot to give information, didn't I? I don't understand why you guys made me do this. I'm not the person for this. Anyway, um, allow me to start over then. Day zero of intelligence research 503 at Intellect Technologies. Today is the day that we finished the last preparations of the research. Our test subject will arrive at 3 p.m. this afternoon. We prepared the room of the subject that they will be staying in. All the tools and furniture in the room are thoroughly sterilized. We did not receive any information on the test subject yet. Um, we hope it will come tomorrow. One of the scientists made sure that the IQ tests are ready to use. These tests will be used to determine whether the test subject is suitable for the research or not. More on that will be shared tomorrow. I think that's it, right? Okay, um, that concludes today's tape. Day 1 of Intelligence Research 503 at Intellect Technologies. The test subject arrived yesterday. The first impression was that the subject was not as willing as we were told that they would be. Description of the subject is as follows. A white male, around 35 years old, has brown hair and brown eyes. We were not allowed to know the name or exact age of the subject. We observed several emotions after the subject arrived at the lab. The emotions were drowsiness, confusion, panic, anger, sadness and disbelief. Any attempt to make contact with the subject resulted in one of the scientists being yelled at. The subject raised their voice and said sentences such as Who are you? Who do you think you are? And get away from me. The subject even went so far that they showed violent behavior. They slammed walls, tried to kick the door and even tried to attack one of the scientists that wanted to approach them. Today we mainly spent trying to get contact with the subject. Um, every attempt so far has failed. Tomorrow we will readjust our research plan to the unwillingness of the test subject. End of tape. Day 7 of Intelligence Research 503 at Intellect Technologies. We are now one week into the research. The research got delayed a lot. This mainly was caused by the test subject. They are still very hostile towards us. They are unwilling to cooperate with anything we do. We've held the higher-ups back from using drastic measures against the test subject. I don't know how long that will last though. Oh, sorry. Jeez, I didn't know I was allowed to see that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> Moving on. Um, we have not been able to do the IQ test on the test subject to determine if they are a usable test subject. They have shown violent behavior against the scientists. One of the scientists got injured because of it and will not continue with this research. Our new colleague should arrive somewhere next week. Tomorrow we will continue to adjust the research plan. End of tape. Day 9 of Intelligence Research 503 at Intellect Technologies. Today some developments have happened. We, as scientists, try to do the IQ test again on the test subject. We verbally try to convince them with kind words to work with us. However, they still did not want to comply. 
Since yesterday evening, they tried to go on the hunger strike. We reported this back to the higher ups. Today, we got a visit from them. Sorry? I'm not. No. I'm not telling them everything. No, I'm vaguely telling what happened. Listen, listen. This is needed for the research progress. We have to describe everything that happens, okay? Just trust me, everything will be fine. Thank you. The higher ups visited and gave the test subject some stimulation to cooperate with us. It was physical as well as mental stimulation. No permanent damage has been done to the test subject. The correction appears to have an effect on them. Tomorrow we will see what the correction did. End of tape. Day 12 of Intelligence Research 503 at Intellect Technologies. It's been three days since the correction of the test subject. In these last three days they calmed down. Every now and then a higher up had to remind them of their correction again. That seemed to have an effect on them. Today they were finally calm enough that we could do the IQ test. My fellow scientists are still figuring out the results as I am recording this. At first glance it appears that the IQ of the test subject is high enough to be used in this research. In the upcoming days we will finalize the results and we will make up an experiment plan. We will see how the test subject is holding up. The scientists were calm and kind towards the subject while doing the IQ test. All of us have been calm and kind towards them now that I think about it. Anyway, more information on the results will follow at a later moment. End of tape. Finally I'm able to do these fucking recordings alone. They didn't trust me to do these on my own until today. Anyway, day 16 of Intelligence Research 503 at Intellect Technologies. Today is the day that we finally got to start with the experiment. I realized that I never really explained the experiment on its own. We of course have everything written down in document, but I've never talked about it here. The the subject has been demanding and they've been taking up our attention a lot. I must say that it's weird because we really thought that our test subject would be a willing person. The higher ups forced us to keep going with the experiment so that's what we did. I don't know if they will accept me saying that. I hope that they will never listen back to this. Otherwise I hope that I can cut things out of these tapes. Uh, anyway, um, back to the experiment. I can't be in here for too long, otherwise they will get suspicious. These people haven't left the building since they had to correct the test subject. Ever since they've been following our every step. Which is weird. Really weird, because they said that they trusted us. But I guess they don't really. I trust my team, though. I trust that we can make this work. What? Yeah, I'm finishing up. W one second, please. That's my clue to go. I told nothing that I wanted to tell. Nice. Um, tomorrow I will explain more about the experiment. End of tape. Day 17 of Intelligence Research 503 at Intellect Technologies. Today I'm gonna tell more about the experiment on its own because it needs some explanation. Um, my fellow scientists and I are doing a research about intelligence. As we've written down in the method of this research, we want to find out if we can boost someone's intelligence to its full potential. We currently have a test subject that has an intelligence that is above average for a human. We want to see if we can take this intelligence to bring it to a higher level. We created a machine that can give tiny electric stimuli to the brain. These stimuli have to make sure that that part of the brain gets activated or stimulated to work harder. 
we've marked certain parts of the brain where we will place the electrodes on the test subject. Preparation of the experiment was making scans of the test subject's brain to see if we marked the right places. In this next week we will do thorough research on this, as we do not want to cause brain damage on the test subject. We want to prevent that we lose the test subject to unnecessary stuff like that. Once we start the experiment, I will make reports more frequently to tell how everything is going. That was it for today.